Taking off fast lane, no coast in. All right. So we good. It's the Urban Therapy with Sun Show, y'all. And it's about to go down. You'll hold on till you see right now. Everything is going to be all right. We talked about sliding in their DMs tonight, but it's really today. Yo, afternoon around the way. East Coast time, we do this way. And everything is going to be all right. So check it out, right? What sliding in their DMs is doing to us today, we're going to talk about all this inboxing that's going on. Now, a lot of people talk about a, a lot of stuff that goes on in the inboxes. They say it goes down in the DMs. It goes down in the DMs. So for those of y'all who don't know the lingo, DM means direct message. So when you're on social media, the direct message is how you get in contact with somebody whose profile that you you may uh, be trying to get in contact with. So, you know, if somebody is on your friends list or if they follow you or if you follow them, you have a direct message that you can send to them to say hello or to speak to them or to ask them a question or to communicate with them in whatever kind of way you want to. So, so of course, you know that a lot of people have used this as a tool for getting to know people and for basically trying to date or have sex or give compliments or cast their line out there, shoot their shot. And it's a whole lot of it going on right now. So with this being the way that it happens on social media, is it cr crossing over into other areas of our lives and making us either more or less confident more or less hesitant to even just greet somebody, say hello to somebody, contact somebody. Huh? Well, we're going to get into it today. And we're going to do it the Urban Therapy with some way. And I'm glad y'all here. What's going on, T. Carrie Wright? And yo, yeah. Stacy White, all up in that area. Yo, thanks for coming on through. I'm glad you did that, Anna. Y'all are my crew, and that's word. So we're going to get into this today. It's going to get hot and heavy, and we're going to really take a, hot, a hard look at this. Maybe in some ways that you've thought about before, maybe in some ways that are brand new. It's something new from Granddaddy You Shout out to my old schoolers. Y'all know that old hip-hop. So... It goes down in the DMs, but what is it? What is it? What exactly is going down in the DMs? Man? You know, uh, some people claim to have all of these people in their inbox. Some people claim that uh, people are always getting in touch with them and always trying to see them, always trying to get with them, always trying to come through, always saying hi, hey, beautiful. And these are men and women. So other people claim that their inboxes are basically, basically empty. They don't get those offers. They don't get those lines casted. They don't get people getting at them, getting at them and coming at them and trying to see them and all of that kind of stuff the way other people think. So sometimes there can be a difference in the way that people, um, well, the faith, belief, and trust that we have in people can be be altered because of the stories that we hear about this thing called the inbox called the DMs. So we going to see about it, get into it, get involved. These puzzle pieces right now, we going to solve. So let's get into it. Urban Therapy with Sun, Sun 752. With this is the Urban Therapy with Sun show. We do this every single Saturday from 12 p.m. till around 1.30-ish. And the reason that we say 12.30-ish is because sometimes it gets so heated that we have to do a little OT on a Saturday. And it is a Saturday. This is the show where adults come out and play with other adults. We laugh, we cry, we argue, fuss, and fight, go back and forth with each other, bust it up all crazy. We take an introspective look into our own personality to see the way that the universe projects us into this thing called the world and try to figure out this thing called life. I am your host, Sun752, a.k.a. Omar with the rrr. And if you can't say Omar with the rrr, well, then you just say Omar with the R. It is going down. What y'all know? What y'all know? Sliding in their DMs. I remember the first time I ever heard that. I was like, what the hell is that? What does it mean to slide in somebody's DMs? What do you mean slide in them? And people be saying that shit like it's a regular thing. Yeah, he slid into her DMs. I'm like, what do you mean? 
slide. So by the time I f- I found out that it meant that you in inbo- you sent a message in somebody's inbox, you sent somebody a direct message. It was like, oh, oh, so that's what we doing. Oh, okay, that doesn't seem like such an offensive thing, but when you find out what sliding into somebody's dms means to some people or what contacting somebody through direct message means to some people it may discourage you from ever doing so i'm not gonna lie like you know like um i don't really play those kind of games um growing up growing up you had to learn to get your rap game together. And I ain't talking about, you know what I'm saying, this, that, and the third. You know what I'm talking about. You heard, and now I'm doing this thing, and that's my work. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when you first started to want to get to know women. You had to get your talk game right. You had to get your, you had to know what to say. You had to step with some confidence. Because if you didn't, you wasn't going to get that phone number. And the whole goal was to get the phone number because if you can get the phone number, then you can get in touch with her. If you can get in touch with her, you can go see her. If you can go see her, you can hug her. You can touch her. You can feel her. You can get with her. You might even get a chance to bed her. Yes, yes, yes. But so stepping to a girl on the street was something that me and my brother practiced on a regular basis. You know, like, yeah, you just go up to her, start talking. Hey, hey, how you doing? What's your name? You know, there, there's so, so many ways to do it, but it normally started out with, with what's the name. Now, you fast forward to social media where you don't have to ask somebody's name. It's right there on their profile. Hi, ah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Their real name isn't always on their profile. Sometimes they have an alias or sometimes they don't have a real name on there. They may have a name like um, Debbie God's favorite child who loves her three beautiful children. Yeah, it might that might be her profile name. Yeah. (laughs) So you might assume that her name is Debbie and it might be Nicole. Real shit, that type of thing. So with social media, reaching out to get in touch with somebody can have, it can have certain consequences. It can come with benefits or it can, it can be used to make it seem like you are the most desperate and thirsty person that's out there in the world. Is that fair? I don't think it is. Maybe for some people it's more than fair because of the way that they move. And I'm not here to tell nobody what to do, how to conduct themselves on social media. One thing about it is, if you're on social media, more than likely you are fully grown. And you can make those decisions for yourself about how you want to put yourself out there or how you want to be seen. You make that decision. You're going to live or die by it. But, what what I do want to talk about today on this Saturday, this glorious 19th of February, first day of Pisces, I want to talk about what all of this inbox inboxing is doing to us. What kind of message are the direct messages sending to us? Are we sending direct messages to each other or are we sending mixed messages to each other? I'm going to ask y'all some questions today. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to get into some shit. You think we ain't when we is? Uh, you think I'm not really the Miz? Listen. Ladies, let me start by asking y'all. Oh, my brother from another mother, Norris Hill, is here. And I can ask you too. Ladies. What are the first thoughts that you have when a man sends you a direct message? When he contacts contacts you on Facebook Messenger, 
Instagram, Snapchat, whatever, 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 whatever. I mean, I'm thinking that there's obviously some interest level that he's probably trying to show towards you. But what is your reception of that? What is what is that saying to you? Are you normally openly receptive to somebody trying to get get with you or get at you or get in contact with you? Or do you normally have suspicions about it? Is it is it is it an innocent thing? Do you fail to make assumptions about why somebody may be, you know, sending you a heart or or saying hi or something like that? Because so many different things can happen when somebody instant messages you. We got people who are scamming and spamming in your inbox. So they may be trying to get money from you. Money from you or honey from you. But what are your thoughts? What are, the, what are your initial thoughts when you see somebody who you don't know and you get the notification that they have tried to contact you in your direct messages. Now, if they're on your friends list, you probably know them a little bit. Maybe you don't know them, know them. Like as far as have interacted with them, ever seen them in person. Maybe maybe you haven't gone that far. But they are somebody whose profile that you are familiar with. You remember them sending you a friend request or you sent them one or whatever. And now here they are in your inbox saying hello. Not uncommon. Some dudes, I know this for a fact, some dudes, soon as they see that their friend request has been accepted, they either go on that person's page and be like, thank you for accepting my request. I'd be like, Straight old head move. I've never seen a young person do that. Thanks for accepting my request. Young people go straight in the inbox. Straight in the DM. Straight in the inbox. Like, hey, what up, shorty? Hey, what's going on? And it can go from, what city do you live in? Straight to, what's your sexual, your favorite sexual position? Yeah, niggas making it hard out here. Niggas making it hard out here for innocent men. They make it hard, son. They make it real hard. Real, real hard. You understand what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Actual facts. So what are your initial thoughts? What are your initial thoughts when you see somebody has slid into your DMs trying to get at the guy? Trying to get at the queen. Hey, beautiful. Good morning, sunshine. Hey, love. Hey, pretty girl. Hey, thickums. I'm just guessing that these are some of the things that that men hear. I mean, I'm sorry, that women hear or see in their inbox. But how do you feel about it? How do you feel about it? Let's get into all of this. And we're going to talk about, we're going to, listen, we're going to get all the way into this thing. We got an hour and a half today. We're going to milk it. And we're going to talk about not just what, not just what some, a, a member of the opposite sex motivations may be by getting in contact, contact with you, but what about people of the same sex? What are they saying? What is what is their motivation for trying to get with you in your inbox on social media? Now, take into consideration, it's a fact that more than likely, if they are getting in your direct messages, it's because they don't have your phone number because they don't know you. They don't know you. So they're doing the best that they can to try to make a love connection or at least try to make an inspection connection, a connection of inspection. Let me see what's going on here. Let me take a look around here. Let me see what's good. So let's get into it, y'all. I see that we have a call on the line. We're going to get into that early in the game. We'll call on the line, see what's good. We're going to see what's good. Let me read a couple of y'all comments first. 
So call it with the last numbers, 4,500. Hold on for just a second. T. Carrie Wright says, wait, wait, hold on. She says, people do, people do it. DMs slide all the time. Okay. All right. Uh, she also says, man, social media is a very real world for some people. Too many people. So the DMs represent love letters and DM calls represent telephone calls. Okay. She says, uh, I get DMs regularly. How I look at it depends on my previous interactions with the person, if any. Okay. Makes sense. Stacy White says, it all goes to discernment and learning your friends. Interesting. They slide in on the, on the slick side. Oh. They slide in on the slick side. Well, perhaps we will get into what you mean by that exactly. Make sure y'all hit that like button, y'all. Make sure that y'all share the show. Make sure that y'all subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet. This is the Urban Therapy with Sun Show. I'm your host, Sun752. And tonight, I'm sorry, today we are talking about what sliding in their DMs is doing to us. Yeah, we're going to talk about what it's doing to us. Because, I mean, y'all might not think that it's doing nothing. Like, oh, why you always got to be bitching about that little thing? I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. All right, call it with the last numbers, 4,500. Welcome to the Urban Therapy with Sun Show. Thank you for holding. What's on your mind this afternoon? What's good? What the hell is the DM? I'm from Alabama. I don't know what you're talking about. What's the DM? Oh yeah. Go ahead, finish it. Yeah. Finish your little. Come on, man. Finish your whole little stick. Go ahead. I'm gonna let you get your shit off. Go ahead. You got the floor. Go ahead. Do your little I routine. You already know what the I DMs know. is. You know what the DMs is. I, I I already explained it in full. So go ahead. Do your little funny you shit. If you got shit to do, why did you call in and wait? seem to have paid a, a whole lot of attention for somebody who has other things to do. Hmm. That's interesting. I got my to cook and I got stuff to do. You know how bad that is. You gotta watch that thing. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. Black people don't make moonshine. They have no idea. They drink it though. I tell you what. Especially if you put some beets in there. They love a beet moonshine. I don't know why it is. But you sweep it up a little bit. Well, my grandfather used to run moonshine back in the day, you know, coming up from North Carolina. They say that he ran from North Carolina on foot all the way to Pennsylvania on foot. Legend has it. So I think we do know a little something about making moonshine. You know, it's not like rocket science. I probably know that trail right there. I might know your grandfather. Well, I don't think you're old enough to know a grandfather because you sound like you're in your 20s. Like your your little impression of an old person is is it sucks. It sounds dumb as shit. Like you gotta work on your shit. Almost 
Man, you ain't even 30 years old. You're not even 30 years old. You talking about something I'm only I'm almost 60 years old. You, you can be farther from the truth. So so do that. You're tool, but you use to judge how old people are. What year were you born? What year were you born without thinking about it? What, what, what year were you born? What year were you born? Without thinking about it, what year were you born? Yeah. You was born. <laughs> she said, "Sucker." Ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if you. I don't know if you know. I don't know if you noticed that your real voice came out when you did that. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed that. I do notice that. Oh. Yeah, I noticed that. I do it on purpose almost. Oh. Oh, you sound a lot different now. Ex explain what to it you. Confuses people. <laughs> What's that? I said, ex explain what? What you say? Now as you're using your real voice, I'm going to actually talk to you. Okay, let's do that. I'm ready. All right, now what's your what was your question again? Well, I don't know what you're talking about with DM because I felt it was like a little bit, it could be a little bit racist leaning, but until I understand what the hell, you, I think it's direct messaging, right? But yes, that's, that's 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 what it is. But, that's what it is. Direct message. Okay, well, well, that's dumb, right? I, there's more shit to talk about than that. And I don't know why you, you picked it, so I'm not gonna bother with that, right? Okay, direct messaging and how it, <laughs> how you toggle back and forth, and you know how that affects people and shit. Maybe in your world, in your 30s, because I am well beyond that because of your tool for judging age is wildly fucking inconsistently wrong, right? So don't that. That's not a good fucking thing. I, I don't, so, all right. So is that really an issue where you've got to talk about? Well, that's interesting to me. So that, what, what flagged me was, I was like, what the fuck was that? And I'm listening and I'm like, well, that's weird. Is that really a problem? Is, is, it, is it really an issue? The direct messaging internet thing so you communicate in a different way when you do that, right? Versus what other way? I don't. So I don't get the correlation, man. I'm lost, and forgive me. And I don't, you know, in your audience, maybe they're listening, and and uh, they understand it way. I'm sure, and you do way better than I do. But here's an old guy, older guy, right? Probably I'm probably old enough to be your dad. So again, fuck your goddamn age recognition tool, because I can change my voice in the New York minute, right? Now, where are you really no, from? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Huh? Where are you really from? Because you're not from Alabama. Where are you from? No, I'm not. I'm from Ohio, man. It's Cleveland. Yeah, so, okay. So but I've lived all over the world. I've lived in Africa. I've lived so, so hold on. Let me get this straight. So hold on. Let me get this straight. Because you keep saying that the topic <laughs> is dumb and it's a waste of time. But you took your time. To call in, first of all, you identified the show. That's right. So I, I guess you have nothing else to do. So you don't you don't have you anything better to do right? than to troll. Hold on, you don't the have anything better to, to me. No, no, you listen to me. You don't have anything right. better to do but to troll through blog talk radio. But you took your time out to call in because evidently something yeah. caught your attention that you claim is ridiculous stupid dumb and a waste of time and and now hold on hold on and and, and i've been and hold on hold on and you've been on the line talking to me okay hey and hey, listen now evidently i'm not mad at you but but i've been talking to you for 10 minutes now Pulls me into a goddamn idea, then it's a different story. It's a different story. What you Wait a minute, is that your dog? Was that your dog right there? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Was that your dog? Hold on, shut up for a minute. Is that your dog in the background? Was that a dog? It is. What kind of what kind? I can go into a spiel about my dog, man. What kind of dog do you have? Oh man, I got. No, 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 no. We, I, no, we're not doing all of that. What kind of dog do you have? Yeah, I, I got a whole, whole, whole joke line about that shit. But yeah, that's my dog. Of course. Whoa, who is it, my girl? What kind of dog do, is it? Who, who else is it going to be in the Stop talking. Stop talking. 
Hold on. Let me cut his mic off. What 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 kind of dog do you have? No, that's my cat barking like that. What kind of dog do you have, sir? What kind of dog is that? Wait a minute. Why are you doing that? Why am I doing what? He's a mix. He's a well. Why are you? Why? Okay, I understand. Okay, so he's a half Saint Bernard and half Rottweiler. Fucking dog, right? He's Wait, totally are European. you serious? Half Saint Bernard and half yeah. Rottweiler. Like, motherfucker, I've had this dog for like twelve years, and he's he's a bastard. He's bitten me like a number of times. He's bitten eight other people. It's it's a you know he is what he is. He's the only. I'm the only owner for this particular dog. I guarantee it because he would have been put down a long time ago. But I spoil him and I take care of him and stuff. So I had him for twelve years. He's a motherfucker. So he is. He's scary and uh, he don't he, he, he don't take any shit. It is what it is. So okay, he's a big old bastard. He's about he's yeah. Scary. He's I'm, bigger. I'm, he's heavier than a drunk stripper. I'll put it to you that way. He's about a buck fifty plus. Yeah, I'm thinking if he's if he's part Saint Bernard, that's already a, a very big dog. But listen, I gotta go on. Yeah, I'm doing the rest yeah. of my show. But you you're welcome to keep on listening. Okay, All right. I will. I will. All right. Cool. Uh, that wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. Anyway, so like we were talking about. So when we start talking about the effect that that this whole DM thing, the whole inboxing thing has on on our relationships and the way that we see each other. You know, these are things that you might not think about directly all the time because we look at we we look at the way we interact on social media, and that's whether whether you're really into social media or whether you you casually are on it or or you just you just come on it sometimes or whatever. You know, social media is a very real part of our lives, and it's having a big effect on the way that we see each other in dating. It has a big effect on the way that we see each other, period. Because before we met each other in person, there wasn't a whole lot of blind dating and all of that kind of stuff. You know, if you saw somebody on the street, you saw somebody at a party, you saw somebody at the laundromat, you saw somebody at the market, you saw somebody at at a um at a at a at a at a function or something like that, the library, school, church, whatever. You know, you you got you got a 360 degree look at them and all of that kind of stuff. When we start talking about social media, we're talking about a profile. It's full of information that that person wants you to know about them or lack thereof. So you have that to contend with, and that's that is the that is the the springboard or the foundation of of what you're going to be able to use in order to get to know know somebody that you may have some interest in, or maybe you're getting in contact with them to gauge your level of interest. Evidently, they caught your eye. There is an interest level there, but you may be trying to find out exactly where this thing is going. And that's whether you are looking for something casual or whether you're just you're just um you know looking to find um, um meet somebody new or whether you are actually in the market for a serious relationship somewhere going going down the line. Um, health and beauty, Tony. Health and beauty, Tony. Peace to you, health and beauty, Tony. And also Emily Dunlap in the house and my girl Queen Monica Davis. Health and beauty, Tony says. I stopped counting my DMs after they reached 500. I don't entertain the men because I'm married and I'm not disrespecting my husband. Okay. So you saying that, that means that you take, you take, or you look at men contacting you on, well, in your DMs as men trying to be a suitor to you, trying to get, get at you, trying to get with you probably trying to have sex with you or date you or make some type of romantic connection. And because you're married, you don't want to disrespect your, your, your husband or your, your uh, foundation of marriage. You, you, you say that, no, you don't even, um, I'm not sure if you mean that you don't check your DMS anymore or you don't take them seriously anymore, regardless of, of that fact, that's understandable. It really is. So men contacting you in your DMs has evidently had the effect of making you look at men with the side eye if they in your DMs like, uh-huh, okay. Mm. 
The question thing about this, oh, she says she, she don't open them. Okay. All right. So so you have been discouraged or turned off or become very suspicious of men contacting you in your inbox to the point where you have said, mm, my inbox basically doesn't exist to me anymore. Um, That's cool. That's cool. Some people will take that even to the post, a post. You put a post up and maybe a man of the opposite sex might comment on your post and it's like, uh, okay, I see where this is going or I see what this is about. You might have a man, I'm not talk, talking about your man or your husband personally, but some people have, have uh, a lover, a love, uh, a person in their lives, a spouse that might monitor their whole social media. So any any man that might come on one of your posts or answer a question that you may have asked or or may comment on on anything that you may have posted that your man might be might might look at it like let me go to this dude's profile see what's going on because i know what this about i see where we going with this hold on i see we have another call on the line i see we have another call on the line caller with the last numbers 4828 Welcome to the Urban Therapy with Sun Show. Thank you for holding. What's on your mind this mo uh, afternoon? Afternoon. What's good? Uh, good afternoon. Oh, my God. Um, I thought you was going to come with a country be... accent. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I'm actually be with um, the young lady who made the comment about not opening, you know, uh, the, the messages because like, you have to be careful. These days, people are using DMs. Like they would go into a bar and pick it up somebody, or like they do, you know, uh, when they're trying to do it, be a sneaky link, you know, um, where they're trying to go behind their partner's back. Um, there's a lot of a lot more partners now that are hip to the DM situation. Like at first, uh, a lot of people didn't, you know, didn't have access to their significant other DM. So. You know, they could go through their cell phone, not see any text messages between their significant other and the other and, and someone else, not realizing that that significant other was on social media, um, you know, sliding somebody's DMs and creating a connection that way. Okay. And so that's why you have to raise an eyebrow, you know, when somebody slips into your D, in, into your DMs. Okay. Yeah. It's a, it's a tricky, tricky thing. I I would think that the way that a person approaches you in that direct message is going to say a lot about where they're trying to go with it, what their intentions are, what their motivations might be, you know, things like that. And it's up to you to okay. decide to decide whether you want to go go forward with that or or if you have actually promoted that. You because there there are situations where Evidently, people want you to get in the inbox. I've seen it. Okay, for example, for example, and I want to know what you what you think about this. Now you know we have okay. we have Facebook stories, we have Instagram stories. Now with the with the Facebook and Instagram stories, you are encouraged to give a reaction to. To um whatever whatever post whatever whatever uh what do you call it the uh whatever pictures that they put up whatever whatever they have on in their stories you are encouraged to either heart it to like it to to uh to care it to to uh sad face or angry face it or wow it right but that reaction right. goes in their inbox it doesn't go on their page. It goes directly into their inbox. So if you put up a Facebook story or an Instagram story, you are already looking for somebody to come into your inbox. You've asked mm -hmm. for that. You've promoted that. Now, how does that play in into the reactions or interactions that you get when you go into your inbox and you see all of these Hearts, likes, 
comments, things like that. Especially when you got a lot of women out here with their titties out, with their asses out, they mm-hmm. twerking, they got hardly nothing on. I've seen women in their Facebook stories just, just basically um cover their titties and their pussy and 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 put it uh, and put it on their stories. I'm like Facebook will they let they they allowing a lot, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but well, my opinion on it really depends on what they're like what you just mentioned. It depends on what what's in the Facebook story, right? So like if you're harding the picture of her where you know she has on pasties pasties covering her nipples and just a you know a, a bandana covering her crotch, then she's asking for it and you're asking for it too. To be quite honest with you. Because the, the DMs can be a cesspool for all kinds of debauchery. Mm-hmm. And so you really have to be mindful of, of whatever it is that you are re- reacting to. Like, even if you like the picture, okay, she put up there, it's eye candy. If you, if you press heart, you have to be prepared for whatever comes next. Because you, under, you already know that this is, this is somebody who's a, an attention seeker. You know, um, and so they may come back. They may have been waiting for you to heart, you know, um, you know, one of their one of their images, right. or one of their stories, one right. of their statuses, whatever the case may be. So now, and you know this, <laughs> you already know this because they put it up there. Well, Facebook story is it's open, open. It's not like a, a status where you can have it just so it's like you know you're just your friend. Um, so you you have to be prepared for whatever comes next. At the same time, there are people who, you know, they they will have small interactions with you, you know, online. It could be, you know, whatever social media platform, and they will create this connection to you, and they will go into your and they will slide into your DMs as if, you know, this is a, a like a you know like a telephone call or whatever, um, and I don't know if you if if we're even talking about that portion of the of the DM where where people call you as well. They're not just sending you messages, but now all of a sudden, either like you're fighting with them, you know. Um, now we're in like a Facebook fight or Instagram like a social media fight, or we're in a Facebook Instagram relationship, <laughs> and you may not have done anything to even encourage that or prompt it mm-hmm. you know maybe you just had an opinion um you know on a on a on a post and y'all didn't agree now they're trying to roll on you and in, in, in your dm um you know or maybe you said uh yeah i agree with whatever your viewpoint is or nice shirt and now you're in a relationship so it's, it's, it's like there's so many levels to it yeah so so but my point is this there are a lot of different reasons that somebody might be inboxing you. And there are a lot of different reasons why some people may either reject what's, what's in the, in their uh, um, inbox or whether they may accept and even promote what's going in, what, what may go into their inbox or, or, you know, how was I'm of the belief that, a lot of uh basically prostitution is going on with some of these inboxes you know what i'm saying because i don't see what else you're looking for you know with with with, with some of these things that's going on so all right yeah. with that being said with that being said how does this affect the way that we how, that we try to meet each other like i ain't going to lie Regardless of what my relationship status is, I would be hesitant to get into a woman's inbox even just to say hi or, you know, like, hey, your hair looks nice or whatever. Because it it, it makes it look like you on some desperate, thirsty shit. It's like, dang, you can't even compliment, give nobody a sincere compliment anymore. You know what I mean? Without mm-hmm. without making it seem like you you trying to get in their drawers or whatever, and and the weird part about that to me is that like okay like I'll hear people I you know I hear women 
on on or see women on social media all the time talking about their inbox. Yeah, you know, these niggas be all in my inbox, you know what I mean? You know, just like Health and Beauty Tony was saying, 500, thousands of DMs every day, blah, 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 blah. That's an awful lot of attention. And I understand and know full well how, how that type of attention, that type of direct attention, I know what it can do for your confidence level. And I know what it can do for your arrogance level, too. And, and I'm thinking, like, does... Somebody getting in your inbox automatically mean that they're trying to get with you. Is that is that is that where we're going with this? Because if that's the case, how can you trust how can you trust your man or your woman to even have an account on social media when you know that that type of activity is going on and that type of energy exists? It would make trusting somebody really really hard. You know what I mean? And I'm thinking, like, I yeah. know it's not that deep for, for everybody. Like, come on now. Like, come on. But there's a whole generation that it is that deep for. Hold on. And, so, and that's why. Hold on just a second. Months ago, last year, you know, in Philly, we have this sports team, local sports team versus national sports team thing going on. I'm a big Eagles fan. One of my friends on social media, a female, is a Dallas Cowboys fan. Everybody knows about the rivalry be between the Eagles and the Cowboys. So it was football season. Picture it. Football season. 2020. So she put some shit up about the Eagles ain't shit and blah, 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 blah. Somehow... It went to the inboxes. I'm trying to think of how it went. So I'm like, man, you know the Cowboys is garbage and blah blah blah. Y'all ain't won no. Y'all ain't y'all ain't even sniffed a Super Bowl since since 1996. And every year y'all talking about how y'all gonna do this and how y'all got five rings and blah 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 blah. That's what we talking about in her inbox. She went on her page talking about. These niggas need to stay out of my inbox, blah, 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 blah. I was like, what? Ain't nobody trying to get at you. So, you know, the way she put it out there was like somebody was trying to step to him. Like, first of all, you a nasty, stinky-ass Cowboys fan from Philly. That's, that's, that's number one. You know what I mean? So I know for a fact that you don't cut your, your toenails. You know what I mean? You got dirt under your fingernails. You know what I'm saying? And your weave stink. I know that for a fact. There's no way you a you a you a you a black female um I'm Cowboys fan living in Philly, and that's not the case. And I know I and I know that your your your, your one year old baby um um sips on little hugs. I know you give your your, your little baby that sugar water. I know it for a fact. No, no way around it. Anyway. So, but but that that made an impression on me. I said, "Oh, now she didn't say my name or nothing like that." But I'm like, "Ain't nobody fucking with you like that." Not that she was ugly or nothing like that, but that wasn't the conversation. Ain't nobody. Mm -hmm. what, 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 there was no. There was no. No. Um. No. No fishing. No. There was no trying to get with each other. There was no asking a phone number. There was no, you got a man. There was no, hey, so what's up with you? What do you do? What part of the city? There was none of that. It was strict. I'm trying to remember how it even got to that, got to the inbox. I'm trying, I, I can't, I ain't going to do it on the show. But somehow it got there. But and the I'm like, is, the, the thing is, is this, if, if if what you have to say goes beyond a post or a status, for a lot of people, it really does make them, make them believe that, okay, well, what else do we have to talk about if you're not trying to get to know me personally? And getting to know someone personally doesn't have to be romantically, but that's literally the first thing that uh, people think of. And there's a whole mm -hmm. generation of people who, who think that way. That as soon as they see you in the inbox, 
you know, that means you're trying to get at them, or that means that you're, you know, that you're thirsty. Um, and uh, that's like a way, there, there are whole married couples uh, that met through DM. You know, there's a local couple, um, young couple, they're like in their 20s. The, the girl's name is Chanel, and she runs a company called Curl Bible. And her husband, um, got to meet, I can't remember his name right now, but he runs a tax business. He owns like a franchise tax business. They always talk about how he slid into her DMs. Mm. And then, you know, dot, 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 the, re- the rest is history. Their generation, that's how they do things. Mm-hmm. So while, you know, for those of us that are over, you know, 40, um, that were well, 40 and over, you know, we're looking at it like, really? Even there are even some people in our age group that look at it as attention. And it is a confidence builder. The more people that you have in your DMs, forget the fact that you, you know, they're in your DMs because you had a, a punch top that went all the way down to your belly and your titties out. You know, they don't care. It's, it's a confidence builder for a lot of people. And they look for that, that, um, that, that validation. I get it. We, we, yeah, that, yeah. First of all, first of all, um, we have another caller on the line. Caller with the last numbers four, five, ten. We gonna get with you in just a second. Um, second, first of all, according to the last caller, I'm in my thirties, so I don't know what you talking about. Um, yeah, I mean, well, I could us. Uh, I, I didn't know that. I'm a, I don't know whether or not you're us or not. I'm just saying, oh, all right, us that you know what I'm saying. So I, you know, I didn't lost. I didn't lost mad mad age weight. You know what I'm saying? In the past hour, I'm doing all right. We're doing all right, yeah. You know I mean? okay. That was my 30. I'm an 80s baby. I'm an 80s baby. All right, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be 80 baby. <laughs> Good job with the last caller, by the way. Listen, I, I, I I'm afraid that we we're about to get a second dose. Well, that yeah, anyway, well, without yeah. hold on. Oh, but 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 yeah, my, my thing is this inboxing thing means different things to different people, but I see I see how it can be to our detriment because it can stop us from trying to make a connection with somebody that we probably want to make a connection with because it just doesn't seem like the right type of atmosphere. But you may not have another atmosphere to to choose from. And it just doesn't seem right. Like the motivation that people or the suspicion of the motivations that people have, I just think is is unfounded, unfair. And it's just not it's, it's not grounded in anything in, in anything substantial. So, what do you what do you, what do you mean? Okay, the, the suspicions that people have are not are not are not uh, they're not valid. No, no, I'm talking about sometimes, like when you were just talking okay. about how um, people look at it, look may, may look at the situation where somebody's coming to the inbox, like when you come off of a post. And you go to the inbox. It's like, well, if you're not trying to get with me, like you were saying, if you're not trying to get with me, what are you in my inbox for? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you could you could be trying to say something to them in the inbox that might be taken the wrong way on the post. For example, like, right. yo, the way that you answered that question really showed a lot of um, intelligence and insight. Now, if you say that on the post. People are gonna be like, look at him, look at the boy shooting his shot. So that might not be the place mm-hmm. to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because out there mm-hmm. in the public, you are you are um open to a bunch of scrutiny by thousands, potentially millions of other people that have different cultural experiences, different um upbringings, different family up- upbringings, and all that kind of stuff. And they and they, and here they are judging you. And a lot of these cats can't really read that well or write that well. But but they they getting at you as far as, you know, looking at what you're doing or or how they think you're moving. And I just don't think that that's that's a I don't think that it's a good look. You know, nowadays because with the with the pandemic still going on, a lot of us are still in the house. And whatever we may not be able to go out or may not feel comfortable going out and meeting uh, um meeting people so social media and internet dating is a real thing for some people and that's the tool that they may use 
But how how comfortable can you get with a situation where it's going to make it look like you some kind of either dirty type of dude, dirty old man? Maybe maybe you inboxing somebody that's younger than you. You know, you might be 45 inboxing somebody that's 30. You know, talking about a 15 year difference. People look at that differently or whatever. But um, it may make it. It, it may stop you from, from pursuing something or even just reaching out because of the way that you think that it may be received by, by that person or by others. You know, if you see everybody, if, if you see everybody um, speeding and crashing into telephone poles and walls and all that kind of shit, you probably ain't going to speed with them like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I don't know what the hell is going on here, but I know I'm not participating in it. You know what I mean? I don't know about these airbags, but you know, so it can, it can have some effects. All right. We're going to go to the next caller. Caller with the last numbers, 45, 10. Thank you for holding, first of all, and welcome to the Urban Therapy with Sun Show. What's on your mind this afternoon? Hey, what's going on, my brother? This, um, 8 Millionaire on YouTube. You can call me Rich, though. My name Rich, but not my tag on YouTube. Oh, I see you. I see you over there. To you. Yeah. Good um, looking. I'm from uh, Detroit, Michigan, and um, I'm, I'm a single guy. Previously married years ago. Father of a 19-year-old. But anyway, the DM, the social media, you know, I, I've been on social media since Black Planet, My Face, and <laughs> yeah. I'm listening to you, and, and I'm listening, and you hitting on some highlights that I, I didn't have on my mind for a few years, as far as when you send a direct message to the opposite sex or females, you can naturally just be, hey, how you doing? How's the day? Whatever. Or you may have a, a inquiry on a business proposition, but see, what happens is everything that God does, and I'm, I'm not trying to be religious, it gets contaminated. Okay. You know, you speak to somebody, you say, hey, how you doing there, sister? How's, how's, how's everything going? How's work and everything? They, some women, I say some, not all, absorbing it as attention on the ego. Oh, they, like you say, this nigga um, wants to get with me. He wants to, he wants to box and all this other debauchery type activity. And I had to, myself personally being single currently, I had to step back for a good year and really do some research or homework on the brain. You know, I study the mind, cognitive, psychology, therapy. You know, I'm a business major, so I had to go a little bit in depth. And then when I go back to my own personal life and get to looking like you, you don't really see what Mr. Illness really is. You, we really start. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, cause, because you got to think, go back to my space. Yeah, I think I learned this in school. <laughs> Social media was like at the baby level. So yeah. me, you, and anybody else with an iPhone or Android, we didn't know mm-hmm. what, we, what we had in our hands. Mm-hmm. Right. If I hand to uh, what you call that, one of those Russian AKs or uh, new weapons, I'd be like, hey, take this to the battlefield, go to the front line, and defend yourself in your platoon. You're gonna ask me for instructions. You're gonna need a. You're gonna need a. Uh, what you call that? A pamphlet or something, or a manual right. uh, to know how to use this device. This is a live, real time weapon here. That's right. You, you really think about it when they when we post on Facebook, whatever. I had to learn the words to say real time. So if I put something like a formula, I say, hey, I'm having a good day. Most nine times out of ten. My fake friends or people on my social media, they gonna pass it up. But you let me put up a hundred grand. Oh my goodness. The DMs, the comments, it's all baloney. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I appreciate this topic because a lot of people are not paying attention. So you know there's one thing, and I'm not trying to jump off the subject. All the other countries run the world on social media. It's a lot of stuff going on as far as activity, war, and inflation. America, and I think the UK is just about the only countries that still partying, having parties. Okay. We we looking for love. We're looking for love. We're looking for satisfaction. We're looking for some type of fulfillment. And you look around the world as far as this dating stuff, 
everybody got this gender war going on. It's like it's like a hundred beats on YouTube concerning what black men and women right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This side say this and that side say this and oh we should do this and you should do fifty percent and we're arguing about the red. We're arguing about things that are about to change in the near future. That's all. That's all I want to say. Hey, listen. <laughs> first of all. First of all, I want to say that your commentary is welcome here. You know, so you don't this is this is not the type of show where you have to watch your mouth or where where if you uh if you add more to the, the topic except for exactly what's being said that you're going to be discouraged from doing that. Now we don't do that. You can you can let it out any way you want to because it all some kind of way it all ties in. You know, what we what we're talking about mm -hmm. today. What we're talking about today is something that's very much a part of our lives that we may be ignoring. You, you understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's something that's right in front of our faces and we may not be paying any attention to it. And there's really no reason right. to pay attention to it when we know that it affects us in some type of way. You know what I want to talk about for yeah. a second? Yeah. I want to talk about for, for a second people who don't get um, a lot of inboxes. You know, because we... we we can talk mm -hmm. about people who get inboxed all day. You know, with the the the, right. the chicks with the fat asses, big titties, and all the makeup and the in mm -hmm. the in the, the, the uh, eyelashes and all that old crazy stuff. Yeah, we know that they get a lot of inboxes, but there are plenty mm -hmm. of beautiful women on the internet that claim that they don't really get a lot, and they looking at everybody else like, well, what's I don't know what everybody is talking about with all of this. Like, they might be saying something like, I ain't got me a dick pic since 2013. Right. <laughs> you know, like. Right. See, see you're going, you're going in depth. And this, is, this is necessary. You're going, I'm listening. So check it out. So that, by, by their experience being, being so much different, than the other women or other people that that they may um, um, hear and see on, on online and stuff like that. The question probably stands: What kind of energy is bringing all of these inboxes? Is it just random? Are they just men out there that are just jumping in everybody's inbox? Probably so. Are there women out there promoting? You know, men getting in their inbox. And making sure that it happens, probably so. But for the person mm. that's not out there fishing, for the person that's really online just to have a couple of laughs, you know, get some information, yeah. um, um, contact their friends from back in the day or or, or even um, yeah. current days and all that kind of stuff, their experience is different. And they, they, may, mm -hmm. they may be wondering, like, I don't know what everybody else is doing or even if they're telling the truth. Because sometimes when when something is not happening to you and you know you're just as worthy as anybody else, you know you know women size each other up all the time, and you know yeah. you know women gonna be like, if that bitch is getting five hundred um 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 inboxes, wow. you ain't gonna tell me that I shouldn't have five thousand, at least fifteen hundred. You know what I mean? Can I get seven fifty? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she might have forgotten that she. She might have forgot that she deactivated her Facebook Messenger, but that's not the point. That's not the right. point, <laughs> you know. So it, there's a lot that comes along with this. There is, and um, and, and like I said, everybody's experience is different. Um, different from this. Some these inboxes have, have, from what I've seen. Some people have gone as far as to go ahead and deactivate their whole accounts because they figure they figure this social media stuff for what it's worth, it ain't nothing but a big dating site, online dating site. And you yeah. know, and they ain't, yeah. and if you're not there for that, and it looks like this is all there is because your 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 yeah. uh timeline and your news feed is flooded with this type of energy, yeah. So your your social media experience is is jaded. And it makes it seem, and you're going to be discouraged from from um, um, encouraging anybody else to get on social media. And you may be very suspicious if you are involved with somebody who is on social media, because your experience tells you, uh, uh, this is what's going on over there. So if you are involved in this, 
then birds of a feather flock together and you are definitely running around here in the chicken soup. What's good? Yeah. Well, I know I, I want to think. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You sure? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I, okay. I, I, I got it over the top of my brain. So. Okay. <laughs> so what I, well, what I wanted to say about that is that, if, um, you know, uh, me and mine, we're both on um, social media. We're very active on social media. I just want to speak to that being that part about being in a relationship with someone who is on social media um, and they're very active. Um, you know, that that level of trust has to be there before you even get into uh, a relationship, especially in this day and age, because most people are very active on social media for one reason or another, whether it be personal or business. <clears throat> and so you can't, like, if you have an issue with, with DMs, you pop, that, that should actually be part of the conversation when you're getting into a relationship with someone, um, you know, just from, just from, a, just from a jump, so that it doesn't become an issue uh, later on. So I'm not, I don't, personally, I don't trip about DMs or anything like that, because I believe that I'm with somebody who knows where to draw, draw, draw the line. So, um, and, and if you're not with someone, uh, who you who you can trust to draw the line, then maybe you're not ready to be in a relationship or you know uh, or, or maybe you're not in a relationship with that person. So that that's all I wanted to say about what what, what he had just said. What do you, I uh, want to add to something also. Do you guys notice just like when 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 they, when they say the word real time, when we put a post on Instagram or Facebook, you know, I've been on social media since, what, 2010? And I started on Blog Talk Radio, actually. You notice that we are not allowing each other to grow. Because if you notice, like, if, if, if you got a, you got a, um, a, 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 I'm 42. So I assume the people that I talk to are from the 80s and grown adults. So most of us have careers, blah, 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 kids, being married, single, whatever. We don't allow each other to grow because I notice when, when it comes to status, when it comes to materialism, when it comes to just, oh, I got a job today. Okay, nine times out of ten, I'm going to be happy for you. If I don't like your post, if you got a job, you got a check coming in, you got an income, God bless you. You know what I mean? We assume that's a natural thing to do, you know, but it seems that people build their own ego. Men and women, oh, I, 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 I'm taking a trip out of town. Cool, that's beautiful. Oh, I got, I got the job over here. But see, if other people who move in silence, mm. who don't even post about as far as their accomplishments or their advancements or anything, you might have had a new child. Anything that, 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 that's keeping you alive, keeping you healthy and happy, I'm all for you, whether you post it or not. Yeah, but it seems that we didn't put a little box. We didn't lock the box in. Oh, I hit the billion dollar power bar today. How many DMs going to come in? That's not healthy. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. it's not yeah. healthy. It's like something's going on through these phones, tablets. It's like it's real time, like like a stimulation. It's like porn. If you mm -hmm. take porn mm -hmm. hub and you put Facebook or porn hub. We all getting stimulated by something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If someone else is casting the check, now you got the streaming. Now you got the, the copyright issues. Someone wants a tag on our intellectual brain. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, the, there's a reason why they have you sign sign away on th these waivers on social media. And they and they overstand yeah. they overstand what it does to your psyche in the long run, but yeah. what, one thing they can't do is keep us from combating that in some type of way. Um, and mm -hmm. but when we fail to combat it, when we when we submit to thinking that this is just the way that the world is and this is the way that life is and there's no getting around it, so we might as well fall in line or or totally retreat and reject everything and uh, and become um a rebel for for causes that that really are unfounded then we we that's where we run into problems because that that kind of stuff can be a direct link to depression and stress and 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 just, you know all, it's, it's weird it's weird the way 
um, yeah. the media and social media can 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 affect us. But I want to talk. I, I'm going to talk for a minute about. Okay, now we're talking a lot about um, members of the opposite sex contacting with each, contacting each other and meeting each other or in greeting each other. What about members of the same sex? You know, like I said, like I said at the top of the show, I ain't going to front when when a, another man um, um, contacts me uh, in my inbox or whatever. I'm thinking one of two things or both. This nigga might be gay. He might be gay. Which is which is fucked up because it's like, damn, a man can't just be like, yo, brother, you know what? You all right. You know what I mean? Wow. Like I watched your show, or I see what you're doing online. I see what you're trying to do out here. That's what's up. He can't even right. do that without me thinking, like, hold on, what, what we doing? What we doing? Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> it ain't that type of party. I'm, I, I got my finger on the delete button. Yeah, I'm right here on your profile. <laughs> you you about to get right. or or he may be thinking he may think that I'm trying to get with or be with or am with somebody that he's with or interested in and he might be trying to fill yep. me out so this is yep. heightening our level of suspicion with each other listen i walk down the street in the hood every day all day and i speak to niggas i speak to hustlers i speak to, to, to dope fiends i speak to, to 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 uh store owners and and patrons and and people waiting for the bus and all that kind of stuff. I speak. I open my mouth. You know, I greet. Hey, 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 how y'all doing? All right. I see y'all. Okay, do your thing. I be careful out here. All day. No suspicion. But when you come into my space on social media where there are also, there are millions of people that that I'm interacting with potentially in, in, in opposition to when I'm walking down the street. When I'm walking down the street, I'm just, you know, greeting or or, or, or observing whoever is out there. It might be it might be a uh, hundred people, it might be a thousand people. If it's a busy day, whatever. On well, social media, it's potentially thousands, millions. And here I am, like, mm-hmm. oh, well, hold on, what, what, what this brother over here? What, 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 what we doing? I ain't gonna. I, I, and I hate to say it, and that's why I'm admitting it. I will go right to your profile and let me make sure this dude got some girls on his shit. You know what I mean? If I see yeah. all niggas, <laughs> if I see all niggas on his profile, <laughs> this dude getting blocked. <laughs> and that's uh, fucked you up. You know what? Social media has, has, has trained us to have shorter attention spans, right? Yeah. And so, mm-hmm. um, and, and because of that, um, you have the reaction that you do on social media, um, you know, that you would not have person to person. Mm-hmm. And I think that's unfortunate because there might be a brother just trying to say, hey, brother, good job. Hey, brother, yeah. can I work with you? Or something like they that. They have done it. You know, they and, have done it. Yeah, I'm, I, yeah I'm, just, I'm just saying that that's, that's the conditioning that happens when you're on social media, um, you know, all the time or regularly. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you're, you're conditioning yourself to to less to lessen the interaction to interaction time in, in several different levels of relate relationships. Um I know for me, if I get a DM for from a, a female, I'm in a lot of workout groups. You know, black women work for uh, workout groups. And so um, you know, I the first thing I think is not necessarily that she's she thinks I'm messing with her man. I don't really think that. I think you know, maybe, um, you know, she's in one of the groups that I'm in. Uh, I do, I'm not gonna lie, if I get a DM from a woman that I don't know, who's not on my friends list, um, or who I don't regularly <laughs> interact with in a group, I, I I raise an eyebrow. Let's say somebody from a group, I'll use that as an example, because it's just happening. Yeah. Um, as soon as I saw her name pop up, that you have a message from Blah Blah, I was like, I don't even talk with her like that, was she? So this is what I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, I've been seeing honestly. So I'm like, why? Why? What's what, what happening? So I order because I, I I see how she moves in the group. You know, because some people like to move in within these groups, even if they're all, whether they're all black groups or not. They like they like to move where there's a lot of pettiness, there's a lot of drama. So 
sometimes, depending on the person, I will think, okay, she's about to try to get me on some petty bandwagon um, with her. You know, people try to join forces against, you know, group members or whatever the case may be. Um, so I will, depending on the person, I may think that I don't, nec- I don't necessarily jump to, oh, this is somebody's girlfriend and she thinks I'm trying to get with her man. Um, because I have had, I have a lot of guy friends that I've known since teenager, since I was, since I was a teenager, teenager, and their girlfriends have, have had, you know, DM me to try to plan like birthday parties or, you know, you've known him since you guys were 17. What, what if he, what kind of video games he's like, cause I don't really pay attention to it. They know that I can't do whatever, you know, so I don't jump to the negative, negative uh, mm-hmm. immediately, but I, mm-hmm. I, but I know that it's different, um, for men, my sons. <laughs> My sons have, have they respond similarly to what you described. Like they don't, if a guy inboxes them, and they're not in one in a in a in a gaming group with them, and even if they even when they are, they still go, hey, hi, how you doing? You know, they 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 approach you with a with, with a raised eyebrow and their finger on the block button because they don't want any mis- mistakes. You know, so as far as uh, the guy thinking it's one thing when it's not. Well, uh, if see, it, y'all hear, go uh, ahead, go ahead, go oh, ahead, go I, ahead. I wanted to say, out here in Detroit, when it comes to just DMs and message, because I deal with music promotion and entertainment and film. So, ever since I really got into it, you know, I kind of took a break. So I'm by myself. I work at home, whatever, and I'm kind of silent for the last couple of years for a reason because. I noticed when I first got on Facebook, I was like going to parties, clubs, trying to get my sound out here, whatever. And I was attracting, not attracting for like a romantic attraction. I was just attracting all kind of people in the streets. So when it came to social media, they see me in the club. They, you know, they'll come on my Facebook. They'll come at me on social media as if we were in the public. So now that I took a break, I had to let people know on social media as far as like Facebook and, and, and the messenger and everything. Look, you cool. We can do business. 90 seconds. Before. You got to slow down. People will rush mm-hmm. at you in that DM as mm-hmm. far as they think you're on a certain type of status and everything. And I, you know, I'm not mm-hmm. cool with everybody. Like they say, right, you can't right. be friends with everybody out here. That's, that's true. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, shit. you are so, so right. You are so right. I had to make my IG private for that very reason. And on yeah. Facebook, so so like um, I used to sing, and um, and so I know a lot of people. I had to make my mm-hmm. friends list I, I, where nobody can 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 could see it because people were like you what so and so just wish you happy birthday what you know so yeah. they were like little yeah. tripping and they were going and friend requesting people and I was like I was embarrassed you know. Uh, yep. Yeah, so I had to block my my friends list <laughs> so that nobody else can see it. Um, I don't even want you to see if we have mutual friends, man. Be like nothing, no, 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 none of that. Yeah. And I had to make my IG private. It's it, it, there are a lot of there there are a lot of different ways that this has affected us, and that's why that's why I was asking the question or 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 the the title of the show: What sliding in the DMs is doing to us because. It is. It is affecting us in certain types of ways, and and us being black people, you know, we don't need any more reasons for any more division. I mean, mm-hmm. really, we should. You know what we should do? We should create an industry of division. Mm. Now I know that we would be divided on how to, how it should be done, but since we're so good at dividing. Since it was so good at separating from each other, we should make a job out of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. can't nobody beat us when it comes to this shit. I don't fuck with okay. them, 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 them. He ain't from my hood. He ain't from around the way. He's gay. He's straight. Yeah. He's Jehovah Witness. He's Christian. I don't mess with them Baptists. I'm holiness. Oh, and these Muslim cats? He ain't even the right Muslim. There ain't no real Muslim. He talking about that five percent nation of Islam. No, no, no. You know he broke. She light skin. <laughs> oh, we got the. We have cornered the market on division. Mm-hmm. We need a. We need to find a way to get a job. 
dividing. And everybody on the job that we hire, make sure that y'all don't work together. Because that ain't this kind of industry. Y'all just, you know, do your thing. Come in here and divide. Clock in and then and fade out. <laughs> I don't know how we going to make money for it. I'm buying it. But we done made. Don't nobody. <laughs> don't wave at nobody. Don't talk about salary. Because I think what you described as far as the division, I feel you understand that somebody's going to make a dollar off our ignorance. You know it. They do it all the time. Mm-hmm. They do it all the time. <laughs> yeah. Somebody, me, 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 you, and, 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 and the sister here, we can sit here and have our division ideals and argue. And somewhere there's a corporation with a marketing team with a with a big old um PowerPoint um chart <laughs> trying to figure out how can we get seventy five percent of the market share. Hell with yeah. Arguing with me, you, and the sister. It's not going to get a buck from it. See, I see. That's why I'm upset with myself because I went to school. I got through loans bigger than my whole neighborhood, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And I figured somewhere somebody out there is getting paid off my naiveness. No matter how smart I am, somebody is going to get paid mm-hmm. on from social media, Facebook, Instagram, right? Um, uh, look, 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 look how OnlyFans went from trashy, <laughs> right? It went from trashy to getting the celebrity women to 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 redeem themselves That's right. financially. That's right. Yeah. Get yeah. money. And that those same marketing teams said, let's create real housewives of Atlanta, LA, yes. Maine, whatever the case may be, you know. Uh and 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 we said, This sounds like a good idea, let's watch it. You know what? And, and, you know and what? here we are. Not 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 to cut you off. I, I I thought about it three weeks ago. I've been looking at you know how you go on a trading. I mean you know um you know how you trade crypto, you trade money and everything. You got the charts right. and the bars go up and down. I know right. with social media platforms they're willing to go low, meaning Facebook, Instagram, and say oh, okay. You can't do this political stuff over here or the spiritual stuff. They don't want to talk the spiritual, but you can talk trash. So All that's day. telling me and you, in order for them to get another dollar, they'll go low on the, on the chart bar in order to mm-hmm. make a dollar. I said, yeah. oh, this is this is this all economical here. This trade right here. So if mm-hmm. I talk mm-hmm. ignorant, if I talk about big booties and, and if I discuss whores on OnlyFans, oh, they don't love you. Mm-hmm. And, and, and they're gonna they gonna love you, they're yeah. gonna love you by hating you because if you're speaking from a position of trying to improve something or, or bring um, um bring awareness in order to um bring uh-huh. some change, then it's like wait a minute, mm-hmm. he to- he up there talking about whores, but but he's slut shaming. You can't slut shame, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's yeah. all about money, yeah. It's all about money and we and we sit on the DM because the DM. Everybody on Facebook, Instagram, and any other is looking for something. We mm-hmm. all we like the book of Eli. Everybody's out here in the apocalypse looking for satisfaction. True, true indeed. And, and, Whether and, sex or job, yeah. Well, <laughs> well, since since they put these cameras and these and 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 these uh in these video cameras right there in our hands, along with these computers right there in our hands. We've all become we all become little makeshift directors, actors, performers, you know, and all that kind of stuff. We, yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah. If you never felt like nobody in high school or anything, you can be somebody. All you got to do is get you a Facebook account. You are a star. I encourage you to do it. Along with the name, you can change your name. You can, you know, I mean, you can literally put superstar as your as your profile name. Until they get mad at you and make you use your real name, you know they do that kind of shit. But, <laughs> but yeah. yeah, um, but listen, y'all, I really appreciate y'all, y'all, y'all uh, calling in. It's been a pleasure, my 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 man, my my Detroit brethren. I really appreciate you coming through. I hope you continue to follow the yeah. show. This is great. Um, no doubt. Yeah, we are gonna do these birthday shout outs and we are gonna get on the pod here and let y'all get get on with the rest of y'all day. But yeah, it, it has been a pleasure. Have a good day, gentlemen. This is definitely delivered. All right, be Have a good day. All right, I'll All right. holler at y'all later. All right. Good stuff there. Good, good stuff right there. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. 
Like, yeah. Any of y'all who wanna um get on um who who wanna join me in in my um in my field of division, just make sure that you don't get at me and I know that you're down. You know, um don't contact me, don't get with me, and don't show any interest, and I know that you're on my team. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Only if you're black. All right. We have some birthday shout outs to do. Some people were born on this glorious, glorious, glorious February 19th, first day of Pisces. And they deserve to be acknowledged. So let's go about our business of acknowledging them and making them feel special because they are special because they are special because they are S P E C I A L. They get the R E S P E C T. They are S P E C I A L. They get the R E S P E C T. They are S P E C I A L. They get the R E S P E C T. They get number one out the box. Jessica Lewis turning 40 years old today. 1982. And also Brittany Alexander, turning 34 years old today. And S. Love Harris Harris, turning 49 years old today. And Gary McLean, turning 56 years old today. And Diane Robinson, turning 70 years old today. And Pamela McKeever, turning 64 years old today. And my man, my mechanic dude, Pop G's, happy birthday to you. And Nicole Taliba Muhammad turning 50 years old today. You're 1972. I said 1972. Do the damn thing. And she's raising money for the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater. That's what I'm talking about. And my girl from Tennessee, Noreen Reen Beecham, turning 53 years old today. And last but not least, Tiffany Blair Galati. Happy birthday to you. I want to say happy birthday to all of you and anyone else out there who shares this birthday on this glorious, glorious, glorious February 19th. Anywhere out there in the world, worldwide, internationally, and universally, all of y'all go ahead and turn up. Turn up, but don't turn up too loud. Just turn up loud enough so everybody can hear you. A rock out, rock on it, do the dance, the damn, the rock out. Rock on it, do the, 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 the damn rock out. Rock on it, do the damn thing, you do your thing, y'all. Represent the queens and kings, you do your thing, y'all. Represent the queens and kings. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind, and any, any, to any, to uh, anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours, and remember, man, we talking about inboxing today. As you can clearly see, there are a whole lot of differing opinions on what the inbox means to each other. But when it really all comes down to it, we are part of this social media experiment. And I think that it's an experiment because we are giving information. We are sharing information about the way we think about each other, the way we think about ourselves and the way that we interact with each other. We are giving people who are in, in business, in the business of marketing us, we are giving them everything they need, everything they need. And, and even on a personal level, even on a personal level, pardon me, we are giving each other something that's useful and something that we probably should discard of something that we probably should get rid of something that eh, is probably not that good for us there should be no reason that we cannot just contact each other be friends or try to make friends with each other and not have it seen as something more but sometimes there is something more there is more motivation that goes along with it but even with that, does it? I mean, well, it, it can easily be taken as a compliment. But of course, anything unwanted and unwarranted might cause some red flags in your mind. And you are perfectly in your right to accept or reject what it is that you want or do not want. I want to thank y'all for coming through, man. Peace to all my day ones, my everydays, and my brand news. I love y'all to death, resuscitate y'all, love y'all right back to life. Uh, we should be on tomorrow at 11 o'clock, but I'm thinking like maybe we should do the 12 o'clock thing again. I don't know. I don't know. It made things a lot easier for me today, but I'm going to shoot for 11 o'clock tomorrow. So somewhere between 11 and 12. We're going to do it like that. We ain't going to be straight up at 11 o'clock. Like somewhere between 11 and 12. That's how we're going to do that. 
Um, I hope y'all enjoyed listening to the show as much as I enjoy broadcasting it. Please make sure that you like the show, subscribe to the show, and share the show. And um, we will be back tomorrow. So y'all have a great day, wonderful day. All right, so blog talk, let me get you on up out of here. We go bye-bye. Yes, we do. We go bye-bye. Yes, we do. Thank you for using blog talk radio. Goodbye. And for my Instagrammers, yo, five slam pajama. Thanks for coming on through and let me exercise my grammar. Peace. And for my YouTubers, you know just how we do, but thanks for coming on through. See you on the other side, my boobers. Yes. So a peace to you and yours.